106.7 WTLC. I'm Karen Vaughn, and you know, we've been hooking you up with money, the Cash Blast Contest. Make sure you get registered at WTLCFM.com. $500 can be yours weekdays and $1,000 on Thursday when we double the cash. And you know, we're all about the money and, of course, a good time. I have Indy's own Mike Epps here with me now because you're doing something very special for the community on September 7th. We're a few weeks out, so I want to hear. I know about it. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know how they do. I yeah. know. Yeah. This is a free event at Douglas Park, yeah. and you're bringing the heavy hitters with you as well. Oh, yeah. So when you talk about a 30 and over party, we know Mike is going to bring it. How you doing? And tell us all about what you're doing. Well, you know what, Karen? Thanks for having me here at the radio station. First of all, well, we're trying to put together. Well, I've been wanting to do a Mike Epps uh, music comedy event here in Indianapolis for a long time. Yeah. Um I'm always on the stage with mu- musicians all the time, you know. I don't know how, but I end up doing shows with them. And I said, "Man, I want to do something in my hometown like that," you know. Um and me and Regina Marsh, we talked, I asked Regina, I said, "Regina, how can we put together this this park, man? Cuz you know, every year we of course we we enjoyed the Black Expo. We love the Black Expo yeah. park. But I wanted to do something that was geared towards, you know, for the Mike Epps thing. Mm-hmm. Um, so we just want to keep on stacking this entertainment on them. They get the Black Expo part, free part. Yes. They get the Mike Epps free part. We just want to keep bringing entertainment to Indianapolis. Mm-hmm. You know, I think I think this is a town that deserves entertainment, you know. Oh, and, absolutely. Well, yeah, we, 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 we deserve events, you know. We work hard. We're going to play harder. That's right. Thank you for bringing us that entertainment. Yes, All-Star ma'am. Weekend was off the chain. You brought Dana. Yeah. You brought Kwame. Yeah. You brought the God, Rakim. Yeah. Rakim. My yeah. girl, Moni Love. Moni Love. And we had an amazing night at it, the Walker. It, and it now, right? Yes. Within the same year. Yes. You are bringing back Stokely. I just saw him in Cincinnati. He killed it. He's always a ball. Oh, he's amazing, Yo, ain't he? Yeah, his, his energy and he cannot got hits. be matched. And hits on hits on hits. Donnell Jones. Oh, yeah. And Full Force. Bo Legged Lou called me and said, I'm coming back to your city. <laughs> Bo so, Lou. so they're, they're, they're ready to come to, to, to entertain, and they're just great entertainers. They are. Along with yourself, you know, bringing the comedy aspect as well. So, oh, yeah. how did you pull this trio together? Well, you know what? I'm a big fan of music. I, I love I love music, music artists. You know, the music we came up on. Mm, nothing is, like it. Oh, man. It's impeccable, man. You know, and I just, I, I just have a great time. Uh, bonding with the musicians i'm a comedian and they're musicians and i think sometimes when comedy and laughter comes together it, it makes a great time you know yeah. so you know i reached out to the guys and told and see if to see if they was available um and they were available and i told them hey man this is something i want to do special for my hometown could you come and get down with me? And of course, all of them said, "Man, we we are love to come." And these are some of the groups that I like. You know, my wife is a big fan of Donnell Jones, and I told her, I said, "Well, I'm gonna go on and bring him in. I'm gonna go on and reach out to him." You <laughs> know? Just go on and sing. You know that I love you. It's yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's gonna two step. You yeah, two yeah. step with her. Yeah, you going home with me? That's all that matters. You know what I mean? But we're gonna bring him in town. Yeah, you know? yeah. But it, but it's a, it's we looking for a good time, man. You know, this is Douglas Park. I grew up going to that swimming pool uh, from early as I can remember from a kid. So this is a this is a park, man. That's used to host the Dust Bowl, and man, I've been going to this park for events since I was a kid. Yeah. So to bring it back to that park it just means something to me, you know. And this this is for Indianapolis. This is for our community. I know it's going to be a lot of people coming from out of town and stuff, but this is for us. This is for Indianapolis. Nah, I, I love that. And yeah. bringing it full circle to the park where you used to run home to catch the, the street lights before. Boy, you better know it, Karen. <laughs> before they came on, yes, right? Yes. Now you Now you can stay out. <laughs> I can stay out. Ain't that something? I can stay out. I get to hang out all night. Yeah. You know, bring your chairs out there, man. Bring your family and friends, man. This is a family event. And, and we're going to have a good time, man. You know, and. The city needs to love, you know, a lot of we got a lot of uh, bad stuff going on with our youth here in this city. And and I wanted to this is connected to to uh, uh, mental health and uh, at risk youth. This is for all of us, man. This is we doing this benefit for that, because 
we 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 know in the inner city of Indianapolis, we need help, man. You know, the kids is going through a lot. The kids is with this violence and this gun stuff. And man, as much peace and joy that we can bring to the city, it'll shed a better light on it, man. And it'll just make a positive environment. Yeah. The Mike Epps Community Concert, Saturday, September 7th. It all kicks yes, off at, at 2 o'clock. And what I, I sincerely uh, love about what you do is you are the epitome of giving back. We see you yes, out ma'am. in Indianapolis doing a, a great things like the Thank concerts. You. But then also showcasing business and home ownership and building your legacy. Right. And why is it so important, one, for you to come back to Indianapolis and mm. give us the entertainment? But then the business side is, is so important, too. I mean, buying a block, fixing up the homes, like, that's yeah. major. No one else is, is doing that. You have a Netflix show that showcases Indianapolis, no right? Question, no Looking question. like one of the homes that... That that you rehab, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and why why is that in the forefront of your mind of what you do? We see you on screen, we see you on the stage, but coming back and giving back to Indianapolis in the way that you do, I don't think people necessarily realize all it takes to get that done. Mm-hmm. So wh- why is that important to Mike Epps? You know what, Karen? I think that you know. In, in the grand scheme of life, we all need a home base. Mm. And this has always been my home base. You know, no matter how many home runs I hit, how many singles I hit, you know, no, no matter how many foul balls, when I when it's time to run home, I come back to Indianapolis because, like you said earlier when we was talking, this is a place that made me who I am. Mm-hmm. Um, and influences everything. You know, just just for these kids to see that I came from this same city mm-hmm. that they that they live in and made some strides in life, it doesn't do anything but give a positive, uh, yeah. you know, influence on the kids. And that that's all I want to do. I just want a kid to see me and say, "Man, you know what? Mm-hmm. If Mike did it, I can do it." You yeah. know. That reminds me of Tyrese's story of how he saw Tone Loke in a parade mm. in Watts. And wow. really looked up to him and like, if he can make it, I am, I can too. Mm. And look at Tyrese now. No question. Right? You know, movies, you know, music, career, all of that. It goes and to show you it works. It goes to show you that it works. Mm-hmm. So, you know, Mike, you coming here to doing the event. Mm-hmm. Uh, at Douglas Park and bringing the good music because you know we love our good music. Yeah, they right? love good music in Indianapolis. Yeah. There's going to be someone that you inspire. You know, no it's question. eight to eighty. There's eight no to, age limit to your dreams and what you to want eight. to accomplish. That's right. And coming home to your home base is something about. And, and I mentioned to this early when we were talking. Um, I'm from New Haven, Connecticut. It grounds me when I go home New and I go to sit on the beach and just to my peace place. Yeah. Right. Or sit on my mother's. At. Yeah. Sit on my mother's porch, the same house that I grew up in. And mm. I just sit on the porch for hours. And let that right. breeze hit you. Let, and reminisce. Br- yes. Sometimes you that. forget you left. Right. You're like, damn, well, let me snap out of this. You're like, like yo, <laughs> Junior, how you doing? Right. Just like it that's was a, like a, 1980 that's, again. That's a blessing to have that. Yes, it is. You so hear me? I, I get the home base and, and needing that and needing to come back to, yeah, strengthen your roots. Recharge yourself. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. And, 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 you know, I'm not going back in the past to anything negative. I'm going no. back in the past to remind myself of where I came from and yes. remind myself of of how great it was to be from here. Absolutely. And, and, and what it did for me. Absolutely. Not in a negative way. Not at all. You know, I, I think about nothing but the good things that happened to me here and for me here. Mm-hmm. You know, I try not to focus on any of the bad. And that's all I want to do. I just want the kids to say, man, when I was a kid, man, I seen Mike Epps in the grocery store, <laughs> boy, and it made me do this or that. And, it, you know, that, that's 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 the power. In right. Because I always tell people, look, if, if if God didn't tell me to give it to you, you might not have got it. Right, because he spoke through you to them. Yeah, because yeah. I wasn't going to give it to you. God told me to give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> God told me to give y'all this free show because I wasn't going to do it. But you listened. I listened. You, That's you right. Listened. That's right. And it's happening. Stokely, Full Force, Donnell Woo! Jones, Mike Epps. Community Man, it don't concert. get no better than that. And you know what's our favorite word? What's that? Free. Free. You know how you sure <laughs> what's that favorite word? No, it ain't that. It's free. It's free. It's free. It's free. It so. is. And it's just my way of giving back because <laughs> – 
it's so it you know I try to figure out so many ways to show this city that I appreciate them. Yeah. Because I get to carry it on my back no matter where I go and I'm proud of it. I'm proud to say I'm from Indianapolis. You know, mm-hmm. I'm proud to say, you know, it's a lot of times we get out there man and we forget sometimes. I'm proud to say I'm from here, you know, because I know what it did for me. And I know it's a great town and we just need some work when it comes to the youth. We need a little work when it comes to the mental health, and I want to be a part of helping that Mm -hmm. and making this city uh, the beautiful city that it is. Where do you get your strength from, Mike? I mean, I got to give it up to the most high. I definitely Mm -hmm. give it up to something greater than myself, God, Mm -hmm. you know. Uh, And I pray in my own way. I pray in, in, you know, I acknowledge him in the ways that I need to acknowledge him. You might not see me in a church, but... I do recognize something's greater than me mm-hmm. and give me the strength to do this. Yeah. You know, spiritually. Well, keep on receiving and yes, keep on ma'am. doing. Because one yep. thing to receive it, but then you actually do it, right? One thing to receive, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 I do it. Because I, I, I'm so grateful. I'm so I'm so pleased at what God has given me. I just want to give it. I want to give it away. I want to give it to somebody. Mm-hmm. You know, because it's I'm blessed. I'm like, oh God, he gave me so much. I gotta give this away. I gotta give some of this away. I gotta I gotta influence some kids, and I gotta make sure I share this this gift and share these blessings with someone. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Growing up here um, in Indianapolis, the other great thing is. You grew up listening to a radio station that is the longest running <laughs> urban station east of the Mississippi in the for United real, States of America. For right? real, man. Right? Oh, man. Do you have a TLC moment or a memory that you want to share with us? Oh, man. I've been <laughs> I've been listening to WTLC since I was a baby. And uh, it's the greatest radio station in the world to me. You know, I'm, I remember all of our uh, uh, disc jockeys. Yeah. From all the way back in the day, uh, we always had great disc jockeys. We had, remember Tyrone in the morning? On the phone Phone with with Tyrone. Tyrone. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, he was was a a, a relationship analyst, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I I, I love WTLC with tender loving care. And they used to play all these old school uh, late night songs. I mean, come on, man. TLC built me. It made me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming here. And you, and you are, and you are such a great. I mean, oh, I love you. your. I, you, I've always been a, a fan of yours. You've always had a great voice, great positive outlook, and we love you here. Oh, thank you. We love, I love some being Karen here. Vaughn, man, for real. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. God saw it to bring me back not once, not twice, but three times. So I'll oh, post yeah. it. Come on. <laughs> hey, we love you here. We yeah. love you. You are you. You know, and that and that's the thing about your job, is that you control so many people in in a positive way, with your voice and your 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 uh, your your attitude and the way you. Your disposition, how you come off, and that's what we need, man. That's what makes a great disc jockey, and you, you're one of the greatest. Thank you. I live by too much is given, much is required. Much so. is given, much is required. How long yeah. you been doing this? Thirty plus years. God, <laughs> <laughs> since high school. And so, you yeah. look so great. You Thank don't, you, you don't Thank look you. like you, you aged. Yeah, any... God you is know, good. We, yeah. we don't, you know, beige don't age. Thirty black so. Don't crack. <laughs> Step on the crack and break your mama's back. <laughs> Man, thank yeah. you, Karen. Uh, no problem. Any, any time. I'm, I'm excited about the 7th. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a good time. There's one thing that I haven't been able to do as much as I want to here. Yeah. And I feel like we're on the same page. Yeah. So um, I'm going to put it in your spirit. The All next right. event, yeah. a roller skating event. Wow. Yeah. Mm. That would be fun. You think we can use Lucas Oil to skate in there? I think you can make it happen. Woo! Ooh. The biggest skating event. <laughs> we'll have the Ursae out there. He'll yeah. be out there skating. Oh, this will be nice. Just give him the little thing to walk in. It's okay. Come on, yeah. man. Oh, because that's what they do. Yeah. Skate it. Stay. You know what? And shout out to all the skaters out there in uh, Indianapolis, man. USA Skating Ring. 
Thursday night, Sunday night. Yes. Shout out to all the rollers out there. Yeah, Come yeah. on down to Douglas Park. Put Come your on. outdoor wheels Man, on. Man, put your <laughs> outdoor wheels on. Don't forget, September the 7th, Naptown. This is going to be a party for us, man. Like Karen said, put on your linen outfits, man. Get yes. your cooler. Because I know they're going to have some Boons Farms and look coolers out there. Yeah. Get you some Just coolers. Put it in plastic, y'all. Put it in plastic. <laughs> Light or dark, put it in plastic. Yeah, why not? <laughs> It don't matter. Put yes. it in plastic. Put your baby powder on your chest. Yeah, we like it if you share. We like it if you share. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Donnell Jones, Full Force, Stokely. Now, this is a concert where there you're going to have a chair, but you're not going to want to sit in it. Say that again. Right? Because you're going to hear these again. songs, and you're going to either two-step, oh, man. or you're just going to get it in. Come on. Yes. Say that again. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, Full Force will have you hype, for real. Oh, man, yeah. Full Force. Yeah. I, that's why I wanted to, because it was like some of these groups, like Full Force is a group that I don't get to see all the time. Yeah. And I'm like, people don't know. They had some of the best hits. And produced some of the biggest. They did. Lisa Lisa, oh. Cheryl Pepsi Riley. They did. Please. I didn't know that. Yeah, you knew that. Well, I could hear Lisa Lisa yeah. in there, I could, but but I didn't know Cheryl Pepsi Riley. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, I, they're going to be here. I think Samantha September. Fox, too. But, yeah. Samantha they, Fox. They did. They, yeah. They're diverse. We oh, like yeah. that. <laughs> they're diverse. And Donnell Jones is, oh, oh man. Yeah, he's yeah. He got he yeah. got hits. Yeah. You know what's up? Yeah. Well, no one's going to be sitting down. And then when Stokely comes on, and you hear that. Pretty. Yes. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a rap. Pretty. Dun, dun. <laughs> dun. Oh, man. Yeah, you yeah, got yeah. Me yeah. I, I'm, I'm hyped. So, I'm, we're starting at 2 o'clock. So that means we start at 2 o'clock. Don't get there at 2 o'clock. You want to get there a little early to post up. I was When I was at the State Fair last week, now this is, this is, this is the post up of all post up. This woman had a carpet. She had an umbrella. She had her cooler with her little table with all the food laid out and an industrial fan. I said, now, I'm hanging with you. She knew how so to do you, it. So if this was you and I saw you last week, we need to see you at Douglas Park. She knew you, how to do you it, You know huh? how to do a Ooh. fan? I've never seen a fan before. She said, I'm staying cool. She was just like this. Oh, I said, all man, right. Oh, man, that's crazy. Okay, yeah, it. she's showing them how yeah. to do it. Yeah. And that's what this is, man. This is, oh, man. I can't I can't explain to you how excited I am to do this. It's, it's, it's everything to me. I've been thinking about it and dreaming about it, and I just want to see them. I just want to see people happy. I just yeah. want to see people smiling and grooving, and I want to see everybody walk out the park, cheering, have a good time. All right, and then that's what's going to happen. Yes, so ma'am. Put it out there. Put in God from God's, from my mouth to God's ears. Yes. So I would be remiss not to ask what What are you working on next? What's your next big project? Uh, well, right now I'm. We got a fifth season of The Upshaws is coming back. Yeah, we got. I binge watch that. I, I just can't watch one. Binge episode. watch. Well, I watch the oh, whole thing. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Got a whole episode. I mean, uh, yeah. Um, and and um, of course we're doing uh, another Friday movie. Nice. Doing another Friday All movie. Right. Ice Cube announced that, and um, I got so much stuff going on. I got I got a, I got a, I got a film that's coming out. I mean, a television show that's a mini series that's coming out with uh, Ellen Pompeo. Yeah, and it's, okay. it's Grey's Anatomy. Grey's Anatomy. Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. yeah, and she she um uh the story is based out of Indianapolis. You know, I'm always trying to and plug Indianapolis in all my work. You you do. I want to build a film studio here one day, and do a smaller Tyler Perry style thing here in Indianapolis. Okay, you will. I one will. Day. Yes, ma'am. That's yes, ma'am. That's the next plan. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Right. I would love to That's do that. That's big. That's big. And I want to teach kids how to be in the film business because they don't understand holding the mic, being the cameraman, craft service. In Hollywood, those people make millions of dollars. Yes. And people don't know that. The kids just think if you're in front of the camera or are you. But there's um, so many jobs that pertain to Hollywood that kids don't understand that you can make six figures in. Listen, back in the day when... I knew I wanted to be in this business. When I would watch a movie and everyone's getting up to leave, I would watch the credits. Wow. So I could see, okay, executive producer, okay. And I was like, something, I was thinking, something key grip. I'm like, well, what is that? Wow. So we'll go and 
research what these jobs were. Mm. So anyone listening that wants to be in the film business, you know when you watch a movie, deeper than that. Yeah, when you watch a movie, watch the credits. There's a, a good thousand people that have worked on this <laughs> no movie question. to make it happen. Right. Right? And they all got paid. That's right. <laughs> they was part of the machine. Yes, yes. So That's a great point. Yeah. Watch the credits. No question. Look at the job they had. Oh, man. And research that. And it's the a internet lot of them. now. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That was so smart to do. Yeah. Yeah. I, Editor, production, post-production. I'm like, pre-post? What is that? Right? It's 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 a teachable tool for you it to is. learn about And the kids it. don't know that. Yeah. They just think show business is what you see. Yeah. But it's a whole machine behind it that made it work. Yeah. You know. Just like the... What's the going radio, on the right radio here? Business. Yeah, you got a cameraman there. You Producer. Got, yes, you got... Security. It. Yeah. <laughs> you got it all. Yes, yes. Top flight. Well, you know, we make it happen in Indianapolis. We yeah. do what we do. We're, we're, we're passionate people about what we do and want to make sure that we present our best selves and the best work in line with what you do, right? Yeah, no and question. And you, you're doing more than the work. You are the work. So thank just you, Ken. Thank you for everything that you do. I love and you. The seventh, and I appreciate you. Yeah, That's right. I love you too. Seventh. Y'all better show Woo! up. Woo! September 7th, man. <laughs> Get the outfits out, man. Get Go to the cleaners now. <laughs> Cause you might not be able to get your, hey man, that's messed up, man. You, I was going, I was taking my clothes to the cleaners, man, and the guy who owned it was wearing my shirt. What? Was yeah. it past thirty days? Yeah, it was past thirty days. Oh man. He had my shirt on at an event. I said, "Where'd you get that shirt at?" He said, "Yeah, you, you come to my cleaners." I said, "Yeah, that's my shirt." <laughs> he said, "Oh man, people leave stuff all the time." So I know I didn't leave that shirt right there. So you got to come up out of there. So I made him take the shirt off, man. We was at. <laughs> That's a Anita Baker concert, man. He's out there with a tank top on. Man. Nah, not at Anita. I need to be right. Yeah, come on about this shirt, man. Yep. That's awesome. Well, thank you. Get your shirts ready, your outfits ready, comfortable yes. shoes, cute, comfortable. Cute, cute and comfortable. That's I don't thing. know what the weather's going to be. Be prepared. I, I hope we can have a – I'm praying on a sunny day, you know. Okay. I can't tell what the weather going to be. It will be a sunny day. It will beautiful. be a beautiful day. Good 76 with slight breeze. You hear me say it. Yeah. Put it out there, 76 Ken. slight breeze. Slight breeze. Yeah. Woo. A little, little overcast, so it's not super, super hot. But right. Just, just, just right. Like today. Today's going to be a perfect day. Beautiful day yeah. in the neighborhood. Yes. Yes. So we'll see y'all on the 7th, Douglas Park, Stokely, Full Force, Donnell Jones, and of course, Indy's own Mike Epps. Thank you for being here today. Thank you, Karen. I appreciate you. And thank you, Indianapolis. Keep on thriving, man. And I love y'all. Let's do it. Let's have a good time.